What's up? All right, so today I'm super excited because I'm actually going to do my Halloween costume. And as I've said before, I'm like obsessed with anything nerdy. <laughs> and um, I know I've done like a Joker inspired look before, but I am actually going to be the Joker. And that also is why I dyed my hair green. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, this is the first time I'm actually going to put this on my face, but I've been thinking about it for a very, very long time. Uh, so whenever you do makeup looks, you are supposed to have some kind of inspiration, whether it be in your own head or by a picture. Um, I have my Kindle here and it has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures of the Joker whether it be Jack Nicholson Joker, Heath Ledger Joker, Jared Leto Joker, Animated Joker, DC Comic uh, Joker. They're all, in, they're all awesome in their own right, but they all have the same look with the black rimmed eyes, the white face, the red lips. So that's what I'm going to do, um, but I'm going to glam it. I'm going to glam it, gore it up, because... I know that there's Harley Quinn, and I love Harley Quinn, and uh, she completes the whole thing, but <clears throat> I want to make it a woman joker. I have never, I personally have never seen a woman joker. Uh, maybe other girls have had the, you know, thought to do this, but I've never seen it, and I'm excited because, I don't know, I would think that she'd be pretty, like, crazy, obviously. I think she would be pretty glam because he always the Joker always talks about how like good of a dresser he is um, so I think that I don't, my camera's doing something funny I think it's trying to take a picture of me right now which that's not what I wanted to do um, I would think that that she would you know be pretty glam care about her looks you know she'd know what's up but also she'd be crazy and she would be greasy and just, I don't know, I'm really excited about it. Let's jump into this, shall we? So the first thing that I'm going to do, well the first thing I did was oil up my face. Um, not only for uh, moisturization purposes, but I've also noticed that this white makeup is not good for my skin. So it's also to have like some kind of barrier. I'm also be go going to be using this Alginist primer. It's called Sublime Defense, I've used it before. I absolutely love this primer. So I'm going to put that quickly all over my face. Sorry, I have to also say I'm so sorry that I haven't posted lately. Um, but just yesterday was my oldest daughter's birthday party. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, I have two Instagram accounts. One's for my makeup and one is for my life. And if you follow me on my life one, you will know that she wanted to have a vampire party. <laughs> Only my child. <laughs> so I was actually really, really happy to see that all the, the kids that came from her school all dressed up like vampires. And I was so thankful because I was afraid that like the mothers or the fathers were going to think that we're like nuts. <laughs> so I was really, really happy to see that. Okay, so the first thing is the white face. And I'm going to just take this white makeup and I'm just going to put it all over my face. Um, I am not going to mix it with foundation because, they, I don't know, she, he's got a white face. So that's what's going to happen. Let's see if I can take it out. Oh, and you know what? It doesn't go down the neck. But I'm going to go down the neck anyway because, one, I've already started doing it. But also, as a woman, we all know that we must match our foundation down to our neck, correct? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now I have a white face. That's awesome. I'm going to take a beauty blender. It's wet. Wet? It's wet. <laughs> And I'm just going to stipple that over to make it look more smooth. My allergies, I swear. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Bless me. I can't wait for fall to be over. <laughs> okay. I think I'm okay with this. All right, so in my pictures also, I'm gonna look at the Jared Leto Joker and see if he has any contour going on. He's just got the black eyes, the red mouth. His red mouth is, he's got gold teeth, it's amazing. I love it. Or no, they're like silver. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see this movie. Okay, so I get it. His face isn't as white, but that's okay. I wanted mine to be. All right, so now I'm gonna set this white makeup with some powder. So I'm gonna be using my Physician's Formula Powder. Okay, so we've done that. Um, now I'm gonna prime my eyes because we're gonna have a really, really smoky black eye and we really want this makeup to stay. You'll have to excuse my sniffles. I can't help it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use just my Urban Decay um, anti-aging one. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a black this one is by Santi. It's a it's called Color My Eyes Matte Eyeshadow. It's just one of those stick eyeshadows. I think I got it for a dollar off the internet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of this on my eye. And then I'm gonna take a brush and blend that out. And I'm going to go up pretty high. And it doesn't have to be perfect, that's for sure. This is just our eyeshadow base. But I'm going to go up really, really high, especially into that eyebrow. Like that. All right, looking good. Looking real good. All right, here we go. You know what? Do the bottom too. Just get it out of the way. Go all the way into the corner. Man, this looks terrible. We'll make it look good, I promise. Okay, now you need some black eyeshadow. I picked up this one from Wet n Wild. It was 99 cents. All right, so just a little black shadow. You can use any black shadow that you want to. Then I'm gonna use like a flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna start packing that color on. We'll go up pretty high. And it doesn't matter if it gets on your cheeks, like if you have fallout, uh, because, I don't know, she's pretty gross. The Joker is a gross individual. All right, so I'm gonna take the time to blend that out really quick.
I'm going to blend it way out into like a cat eye shape. Okay, and then we're going to go and do the other eye. Okay. That's done. Looking good. Now I'm going to rim my eyes with a black liner. I'm going to use this NARS one. It's nice. It's a coal liner. Menorque? 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 <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do top and bottom. And then I'll just kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, looking good. Pretty uh, black around the eyes there. Um, it doesn't really show that they, their eyebrows are like anything important to them. So I might actually try to like go back and cover them up a little bit. But I'm definitely not going to do too much. Maybe I'll even... Uh, Take this white pencil that I've got and go over it. There we go. And blend that out. Since I just stirred that a little bit, I'm going to go back and blend my black. A little bit. Very cool. Um, the regular Joker doesn't really have much of a contour, but we are like girl Joker, and I'm going to have a little bit of a contour. So I'm going to use my shade and light eye, and I'm going to use this gray color that we used for the vampire. Wasn't that right? Yeah, vampire. And I'm just going to get a contouring brush. It doesn't really have to be anything special. I'm just going to use this elf one, and I'm just going to have a little bit of a contour. Just a little bit. I just feel like Girl Joker would have one. Don't you think? <laughs> Okay, now the mouse. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to use is uh, Kat Von D's Outlaw. Yeah, Outlaw. And this is just to ensure that it will stay on for a long time because you got a, a long old night of uh, trick-or-treating or partying or whatever the heck you do. And 
and I'm going to go out. I think I'm going to overline my lips like a whole bunch because she's crazy. Alright, so that's that. Now we're going to darken it up a little bit. We're going to let that dry. Girl Joker. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to make it a little bit darker. And I have a lip stain from Sephora. It comes in a tube like this. And I like these a lot because they're stains and they uh, stay on for a long time. This is in 10 Red Essence. And it's kind of like a bricky red. But that just darkens it up a little bit. So we're using two things that will stay on for a long ass time. So juicy and gross. All right, so what I am also going to do, because she is gross. Oh, my God, look at me. I can't wait to, like, walk around all Halloween like this. This is going to be awesome. Is I'm going to take that black. When this dries, it has to dry first. I'm going to take this black pencil. You know what? While we're waiting for that to dry, let's put on some mascara. It doesn't really matter about mascara. And you can also put lashes on, but I am not going to do that. But you can. So I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use that one mascara I don't really like, the, the Dior one. May as well use it. And I think I'm going to get a little chaotic with them. I'm going to just keep adding and adding and adding until it's like gloopy and gross. So whenever you're putting your mascara on, just think that you're in a rush, that you're crazy, and you got things to do. And if it gets on your face, leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take that black pencil. And just do the inside of my mouth. Like that. And I'm pretty sure that that's all you got to do for girl joker makeup. I mean, you could make it like dirtier and gross, but by the end of the night, I'm pretty sure if you touch your face or you touch your eyes, it's going to do it on its own. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go do my hair because my hair is green for a reason. So I will be right back and we will see the finished project. How do I look? <laughs> so every girl knows how to like tease their hair, right? You just tease the crap out of your hair and you got yourself joker face. I'm so excited. I can't wait until Halloween. I'm definitely going to scare some children. Um, so all this stuff is totally staining my teeth, but I'm not going to try to get it off uh, because by the end of the night, like I said, you will look like crap. Uh, you will look like you got ran over by a truck a million times, and that is exactly what you're supposed to look like because the bitch be crazy. All right. So there we go. I'm done. I love it. I can't wait for Halloween, and it was actually pretty quick, so uh, I hope you guys learned something today, <laughs> and uh, if you didn't know what you wanted to be for Halloween and you steal my idea, I'm totally cool with it. It's cool, girl. You do you. All right, so that's it. See you guys later.